So, I was kind of curious because I did not uh, choose to declassify my Mini 4 Pro uh, when I applied for the C1 label. So I was kind of curious if they actually would send me one. Look what I received in the email. Ah, it's not the back I received. I put it in here, I guess. <laughs> I got a letter and um, for those of you that maybe have uh, been following along would know that when we got the new update of the DJI Fly app, we got the possibility to apply for a C1 label for the Mini 4 Pro in case that you have decided to uh, at some point to declassify the drone and then take away the C0 label in the base of the drone. Some of you wanted to do that because DJI gave you the option to remove the 120 meter limit that was introduced as a consequence of uh, the drone being C0 classified. This uh, procedure you could initialize, I think before Christmas, maybe you can still do it. I can't really remember if that option is still available. But the idea was that you could basically take away the C0 label in the base of the drone and then install uh, a, a software that will unlock the 120 meters uh, capabilities. So that will consequently mean that your drone will no longer be C0 compliant, but it will basically be a sub 250 gram legacy drone. At the same time, uh, DJI announced that at some point it would be possible to reapply for a certification for your Mini 4 Pro. But because you have truncated the C0 certification, that would no longer be an option. This is not possible once you have taken the step to remove the C0 labeling to put it back on the drone. So, but instead, you have the possibility to basically apply for a C1 label for your Mini 4 Pro. I did that some way back and I actually did a video about the whole process, how you apply for the C1 label. So no need to repeat that. And I'll make sure to link that video in the description below. I was kind of curious because I did not choose to declassify my Mini 4 Pro when I applied for the C1 label. So I was kind of curious if they actually would send me one. I completed the process and now I got this envelope. So let's open it and see what's inside. <laughs> It'll be quite funny. <laughs> It'll be quite funny if it's not what I think it is because it actually doesn't say DJI on the envelope, but I'm pretty sure that I'm right about this. So let's see. Yes, exactly. Exactamento. <laughs> oh, let's see if there's anything else in here. No, there's nothing else in here. Nope. So, yes, this is the DJI Mini 4 Pro C1 compliance authentication sticker. <laughs> so let's just open it and see what we are actually getting. The advantage of actually applying for C1 with a drone like this is that uh, you might have seen the videos that I've been doing uh, showing you that uh, to comply with the, the requirements of having a blinking LED on the drone, you have to mount uh, like an external um, flashy device and that will uh, most likely or with 100% guarantee bring the total weight of the drone above 250 grams. And that would mean if you're flying at nighttime with this external LED onto the drone, you would basically not apply to the certification of the drone. The same goes if you want to use the plus battery in the drone, that would also push the weight above 250 grams. But if we are upgrading it with uh, this uh, C1 compliance label, we are actually in a very good shape to put on the plus battery as well as external LEDs and whatever we could feel like strapping onto the drone. So let's get this one open and see what's inside. The first one I take out is this one. Does not say anything about C0, C1, no. Let's put it here on the dash so we don't lose it. Then there's an instruction how to do it. And here it is. <laughs> so here is the C1 sticker. It says C1 and it has a maximum uh, noise floor of uh, 81 dB. Let's just see what we need to do apart from just slapping it onto. There's like a big one here on all the languages. Just 
open here. See if we can find a section we can read. It's in all the, the EU, EU languages. And this is just like a reminder of the rules. So it basically says before flying as a drone pilot, you must make sure that the drone is registered in his or her national authority, unless already registered. Make sure the owner registration number is displayed on the drone and updated onto the remote identification systems. You need to enable a remote ID, uh, especially if it's a C1 drone, then you actually need to enable a remote ID. In case that you are in doubt how to enable that, you can find a video as well in the description below. So this is, I guess, the instruction that we are looking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot, a lot simpler. <laughs> Here you are being asked to remove the sticker that is uh, on the, the battery compartment of the drone, as well as uh, the C0 sticker, if you are not already removed it. And then uh, reply the new sticker, this one needs to go into the battery compartment and you need to yeah put on the label here. It actually needs to go on the side of the drone. So let's just take off this clamp just for a sec so I can show you where what you need to do so so if we take this one out you can see that there is a, maybe you can't see it but there's a sticker in here and this is basically the one that you need to take out and replace with the one that is uh, was in the envelope and then you need to remove the C0 sticker here on the base and then you need to apply the C1 sticker on the side of the drone. At least that is uh, as per this instruction that was delivered with the drone. So let's just read the process one more time. So submit the application via the DJI Fly app. That's done. Receive the label. So I guess within 20 working days, stick the label, I guess, on the drone. And then you need to upload the photos as, as proof that you have done the work. Approve and download the certification three days after uh, the upload has been done. But I've decided not to go through the process of upgrading mine to C1. So for, for now, I will just save the stickers until uh, I get to a, a, maybe I'll get the chance to get a plus battery at some point so I can basically try it out. So right now, you just keep it as it is. And you can see that I have the marking on the top. I have the operator number on top of my drone. So everything is super, super nice. So I will keep my Mini 4 Pro, which makes perfectly sense for the stuff that I do on the channel as a C0 drone for now. And again, if uh, you missed the video about how uh, you uh, apply for the C1 sticker for your DJI Mini 4 Pro, then I'll make sure to link that through this card. Also, I made a video how you enable the remote ID, how you type in your operator ID, including the three secret numbers into the DJI Fly app to enable broadcasting of remote ID, which is a requirement if you go forward and upgrade your Mini 4 Pro to a C1 certified drone. You might have a ton of questions for this. That's perfectly fine. Drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.